Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This is our first day on the job site. And there's a lot of overgrowth here, as you can see. There's a lot of drought tolerant stuff and native plants to California. And that's what this all is all about, really, is native plants and drought tolerant stuff. But we're what we're gonna do here is we're gonna um, we're gonna put some brick ribbons along the side of this existing driveway. And we're going to also do a little semi retainer because the dirt beds for all this planting is built up a little bit high. So we're going to uh, flip a brick on its edge just to kind of retain everything. This is kind of what it looked like when we arrived right here. And it was just some bricks set in some sand and uh, they went to a lot of trouble. They put like a, a foot of gravel, you know, a few inches of sand and you just set them in that. But not real necessary in this climate. You know, this climate here, I mean, I think they learned how to do this stuff from YouTube, but in a different climate condition. And uh, I rolled up here and uh, just kind of went with the standard procedure for this particular climate, which is uh, Southern California. Now in this particular spot here, we're doing a little bit of a block uh, planter bed square. Now we're back on the driveway, and this is where we're gonna um, we're cutting back the plants, and we're gonna dig the dirt down. We're gonna put a concrete bed in. We're gonna use just some basic uh, bag mix concrete, and that'll be our bed. We're gonna hand mix everything. I think we went through about two and a half yards of hand mixing. You can see they had a lot of sand beds in here um, for the, the previous brick that was just kind of set randomly in there. We're going to make it a little bit more solid and less maintenance, more maintenance free. Whenever you get something, something set in sand, you're going to have a maintenance issue, you know, and that's forever. When you do it in concrete, you know, it's going to be more permanent and you're going to be more maintenance free and that's that's kind of you know what everybody likes maintenance free stuff and that's what i do maintenance free one time get it on all done We got a little sidewalk right here. It's going to be concrete. We're going to mix that up by hand as well. You know, a lot of people think, well, why don't you get a mixer truck? You know, pour this whole thing out. You got a lot of concrete. You got the footers for the brick ribbons. You got the side. A lot of stuff going on. And that is the point. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. And we don't have a lot of brick setters. So this has to be all staged and done timely. Which means... We mix it by hand. We can keep up with the concrete drying and able to set the brick as it dries. You get a load, it all goes down at one time. There's no way a brick setter is going to keep up with a load dropping down all at once. So this is how you do it when you're dealing with a wet setting you know, brick. Now a crucial part of setting brick is uh, you have to soak it in water. And what that's going to do is going to avoid uh, flash drying and then not bonding to your uh, footing. It's going to give you a little more time to get it on. So I, what I did is I took a wheelbarrow here, filled it up with water, threw all my brick in there. And I've got a couple wheelbarrows full of brick with water. And I just pull them out as I need it. Bricks are a lot like a sponge. They absorb a lot of water. Although you can't really wring them out. There's a lot of water in them though. And that's why you don't want to really seal brick either. Because there's a lot of moisture in brick. And if you seal it, you can trap water. You're going to get a really bad looking sealer
Now here's the sides of the driveway here. We just kind of dug it out about three inches below, allowing for the two and a half inch thick brick. We have uh, one three eighths inch rebar running the uh, distance here, just to give it a little something. Just in case we get a cracking from these trees or plants or whatever may be planted here, um, the rebar will help hold it all in one piece. Even with some movement, that rebar will help it hold to where it won't shift. So there's that wheelbarrow with the water and brick. We're using all the original brick they had here. We didn't want to purchase any. We just pulled out the old brick that was set in sand because it became a maintenance nightmare, basically. Took them all out flooded them and now we're going to set them in concrete and make it 100% maintenance free for at least 10, 20, 30 years. Now the way I set the bricks um, especially when we're matching existing driveway slopes and existing grades I'll just get a straight edge you really don't even need a level at all you just wanna get some type of a straight edge and just follow the existing slope of whatever you're matching now that level you see there that I'm setting on those back bricks to retain some of that dirt there because of the built-up planting area is just uh it's not really i'm not checking the level because i'm following the slope of the driveway i'm just making sure that all the bricks are um you know flat with each other they're not up and down now the bricks um if you have them in this direction here you have one going that direction off the driveway and then the other is running the long way each brick will cover if you're setting them correctly you'll have two bricks one direction and one brick the other direction and you should line up on your joints still now if you don't then you didn't set them right so you can see a little bit better right here where you've got two bricks a joint and joint and then the other bricks that are standing up or lined up with them that's how that's how you should set them unless you're intentionally trying not to line them up then you'd want to have you want to be exactly split center now I'm not going to put a grout joint in between the flip brick and the flat brick I'm just going to put them up against each other. Now here we have the grout bag. We, everything we do right here is bag mix. It's just a lot cleaner process. If you don't have all the loose materials. And when you got loose materials and you got extra, what do you do with them? With bag mix, you can return them. pretty simple and here's the walkway entrance we're gonna also we're not gonna do a flip brick on here although it really kind of it needs something even more because you can see how high these beds are but I mean with the right right groundwork um, you could probably try to retain this dirt if you slope it right but right now we're just gonna do a basket weave pattern here That's basically two, one direction to the other other direction. That's your basket weave. Because of the width of this, we're only really getting one and two, but the concept's right.
Now on the long, along the side of these, this uh, particular walkway, we have uh, we had a really good deep bed of uh, gravel that was initially put in here with a uh, weed fabric. It had sand, it had a lot of things going on, but um, the weeds, everything grew right up through it, and it was, you know, one of those deals where, well, why did I do this? I want it, you know, maintenance free type situation. I don't like sand. I don't like weeds growing through my hard surfaces where I like to walk on. So we put concrete, eliminated all those issues. Well, that level that you see me using just a two footer um, it's really not if you've, if you've got a two foot two by four or any kind of straight edge that's all you really need in this particular scenario so you just follow the grade slam it down make it flat now before I set these bricks I don't know if you've seen it in this video but I actually used the brick itself to to rod off the concrete so when I go when I go to set it down I'm not pushing down a lot of excess concrete I'm pretty much setting it right on what I've rotted off The nice thing about the radius of this walkway is that it's a gentle one. So I was able to set all these bricks without making a single cut. And the joints look really well. They're not really overly spaced. And I was able to make that radius. So that's, I think that's about a 20 foot radius on that walkway, but hard to say. Now here's kind of your finished product after we've after we've grouted. A little more cleanup to do and touch up, but this kind of gives you the idea. The nice thing about the brick here with uh, having the concrete underneath it and the rebar, if you did drive over it, it wouldn't be a problem. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, you know, that way you'll be notified. Make sure you hit the bell you know, next to that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when we upload the next video. Thanks.